Sprint would like to congratulate driver Denny Hamlin for winning today's race and hoisting the big lobster here at the Magic Mile in Loudoun, New Hampshire. Now, there are races where drivers dominate. There were races when people absolutely, absolutely kick everybody else's rear end. And then there's this race today by Denny Hamlin. Denny joins us now. And Denny, I know you guys started out this chase in a way you did not want to start it out. Certainly started this weekend now. But how much confidence did you have in your crew and your driving ability and your car at the beginning of this race? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, as fast as you are in practice, you know, that doesn't mean that didn't give you any trophy for the race. So uh, I knew we were going to have to perform. I just tried my best to not make any enemies on the way to the front, uh, drive everybody clean and, uh, you know, just take my time. So, yeah, I got there quicker than I thought I would. And, uh, you know, really from that point on, we just were in cruise mode. Denny, you talk about being in cruise mode. Of course, you led 193 laps, and that's after starting this race in 28th. And I don't know that I ever heard you complain about your car getting in through the middle or off the exit of the corner, but it sounds like you had your hands full with this race car on the straightaway, which I found interesting. Yeah, we've had a lot of issues with our steering boxes. Uh, the car, after the tires wear down and the slip goes away in the, in the front tires, it gets a huge dead spot in the wheel. So uh, what I'll do is the car will start drifting left and I'll, I'll just barely move it right. It won't do anything. And then all of a sudden it'll tug real hard to the right. So we're, those are some issues we got to work out. Uh, we've been working on them all year long and haven't figured it out yet. So we're uh, we got to hone in on that. Denny, I admire the way you've been the last couple of weeks. You said we will win in that nice little tweet. I'm a fan of you. I like that tweet. And I say you're, you've been handling bad like a champion. Where did this newfound Denny Hamlin come from? Um, I don't know. You know, it's just midway through. I think it was the tough season last season, honestly. I think that, you know, when you when you run real bad and you kind of become irrelevant, um, you, you, you kind of take things for granted when 2010 went so well. 2011 was an absolute disaster uh, as far as performance was concerned. But, you know, this year I just feel like, you know, I'm comfortable with where we're at. This is our seventh full chase uh, with our FedEx team. Um, I, I know my abilities. I know what my team's ability is. Obviously, I know that I have a championship winning crew chief. I, you know, what more can I ask for? This is what I dreamed of uh, my entire life is to, to have a, a, a championship winning car that I drive in in the Cup Series, and I've got that. So I've got to take the bad days with the good days. So I just feel more comfortable with that. You know, Denny, it's been said a lot in sports that you don't really find out about your teammates when everything's going good because it's easy for everybody to be on the bandwagon then. But when things go bad, you really find out about people. What have you learned about your team and yourself over the past couple of weeks when you guys have had some bad things go on? Well, I, they're a never give up attitude. I mean, you know, Darian rallied these guys this morning and talked to them and said that, you know, we're better than what we've been these last two weeks. Uh, you know, we've we've had cars that are, are capable of winning for the last two months, every single race, um, and, and we're capable of more than what we're showing. And so he got them together. They had the confidence that, uh, you know, we had a winning car today, and um, that pep talk obviously worked with them. Denny, I said it on our race day show earlier that, that I don't like to say that there's bad calls or there's bad strategy. I just like to say there's calls or strategy that didn't work out in the right way. And that's certainly been the case a, a lot for you here in 2012. But you made your green flag pit stop with 55 laps to go. You built a five second lead. And then with 27 to go, the caution comes out. Did you go, oh no, please, not again? Yeah, I mean, that's a tough one. I mean, you know, the debris cautions, they, they kind of come whenever they come, and sometimes it's good for you, sometimes it's bad for you. But uh, obviously we didn't want to see any caution there at the end. We wanted to let the race play out. The, the best card w was in the lead at the end, um, and so we didn't want to see the caution. But, you know, we knew that had a caution come out, we were not going to stop anymore. We actually stayed out earlier in the day uh, on, on older tires and ran our fastest laps of the day on 20-lap scuffs. So we had the same exact run at the end. We had a 20-lap run. Uh, it was a simple no-brainer for us to stay out, and obviously our car took off. Yeah, I'm betting when that caution came out, you cut your radio off. <laughs> I just didn't want to hear that. I think, I think that Darian said, you can come on in here if you want, but we ain't going to do anything. I, I, I'm pretty sure he said that to me. Hey, Denny, congratulations once again to you and your team on a totally dominating performance, and best of luck in this chase. I right, appreciate it. All right, that's driver number 11, Denny Hamlin. And also along the way, he gave Joe Gibbs Racing his uh, the 100th win for that team. Denny Hamlin qualified 32nd, started 28th, 
and finish first. That's the big number, but an even bigger number is the number of laps led, 193. Rich, the top 10 on lap number 42. And what can be better than having a tweet from your mom, Mama Lou. Hamlin says, that's my boy, and it certainly is, because that was, Larry, one of the better burnouts we've seen in quite some time. Heck, that's my boy today. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much anyway. <laughs> Denny, they said that was the burnout of the year. That that's was what a I heck, said on the radio. Of a burnout. All right, I mean, so much, from, much from turn four, to, From turn four to turn two without checking up, that was pretty good. <laughs> there you go. All right, thanks again, Denny.